Hello and welcome to a brief introduction on using Google Meet. In this particular presentation, I'm going to show you as a student how you can access Google Meet and how you can interact with your teacher and other students. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing you're going to need is a link from your teacher. The reason we're pushing Google Meet is with a link, it is secure and it is private. Only the people with that particular uh, link will be able to view that, that particular Google Meeting. So um, however your teacher chooses to get that link to you is your teacher's choice. Um, obviously, we're going to do it here through Google Classroom. So all you're going to do is you're going to see a link. You're simply going to click it. When you do click it, it's going to pop up something like this. Whoa, inception there. OK, um, on yours, it's possibly going to show up on the, in the top left-hand corner. It's going to ask you to allow microphone and allow uh, camera. Make sure you do allow those. Otherwise, you won't be able to participate. If for some reason you do click deny, just refresh up there at the top and it will ask you again. OK, so we're going to go ahead and join now so I can show you what it looks like on the student side. OK, so here is my teacher. This is Miss Kelly Cheatham here in the middle there. Now, if she was on this particular call, you would see her there in the middle. But I want to show you what it's like on your end. OK, so um, one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we are doing best practices. And one of those is we want to make sure that we mute our microphones. OK, um, you want to make sure you turn that off so that when you have so many students in a classroom and your teacher is speaking, any little bit of background noise can be very distracting. I know you may think you're being quiet, but even just a fan, air conditioner, a pet in the background, even just your breathing can be a little distracting. So let's make sure we mute that. And you'll always know it's muted when it's red like that right there. Um, but when you do have a question, obviously you are want to turn that off so that you can speak. And you'll always get a little notify notification up here at the top, okay? Another thing that you can turn off is your camera right here. If you'll notice up here in the top right hand corner, it's showing what the other people can see in this particular classroom. If you turn that off, it's just going to go to your name right there. OK, but we're going to leave that on. Let's talk about some other features up here in the right hand corner. You have the chat feature. Let me slide myself over here. Um, if you have a question that you need to ask and um, Maybe it's in the middle of your teacher speaking. You do not want to interrupt by turning on your microphone. You can ask the question over that. So um, will you please repeat that or something along those lines? You can chat that way. And that way your teacher will be able to see it. Here on your people tab, you'll be able to see who all is in the classroom and whose microphones are muted, whose cameras are muted, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Some other things that you can do here. This is my favorite feature right here. Turn on captions. Whoever is speaking, it is going to um, type out what is being said. Let's see if it'll start doing for me right now. It takes it a minute, and please know it is not absolutely perfect, but it will. Oh, ha, it's because my microphone was, uh, so turn off captions. So whoever is speaking, it will translate what is being said down here at the bottom. So we'll let that take a minute and you can start to see them down there at the bottom, okay? Uh, I recommend having this on, especially when your teacher is speaking. That way you can follow along what she's saying, all right? Another thing that you can do here is present now. Um, let's say you're working on a digital worksheet or something along those lines. You can actually present your screen by selecting right here, okay? You can do your entire screen or just a particular tab that you have open, and then it will prompt you as to what you want to share. You click it, then you click share, it will start presenting it, okay? Another thing that you can do over here, more options. Um, you can turn off your captions, settings, go full screen, change layout. My favorite is the sidebar, especially when you're gonna have a lot of people in this particular classroom. That way it's not so distracting, whether as these other ones can be a little bit bigger. The spotlight means whoever is speaking, they're gonna be full screen for you there, okay? Another thing that I do recommend is over here on settings. Um, for your video, if you have a slower internet connection or if you notice it's dragging, you may want to, this may default to 720. You'll want to change that to 360. It won't tie up as much as your bandwidth, okay? 
And that's pretty much it. Uh, Google Meet is very, very easy. It's very simple to use. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, ask your teacher. I'm sure they can help you. One important thing that I do have to say is that please, please, when you end a phone call, make sure that you um, end it here. Otherwise, you stay on that, okay? So always make sure that you hang up, all right? So again, real quick to review, um, let's make sure that we're using best practices. Dress appropriately, you are on camera, behave appropriately. Um, make sure that you mute, mute your microphone when you are not speaking. And if you don't feel like being on camera, you can always turn that off as well. All right, hope this was useful. Thank you.